Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video of Journal with me and uh, today I want to uh, make a few simple tags uh, for my spring journal I found these tags um, that were uh, laying around already for a very long time so I decided that it's finally time to use this Today I want to decorate all these tags and um, use them in my journal. Some of these are self-made, some are just some random tags that I have, I don't know from where. Uh, so I have here these two boxes with uh, different paper scraps. So I just will take some random uh, paper scraps that I have here and make a, a little background for each tag. Also I have this box with different uh, cutouts from uh, different paper pads and also some stickers and um, something that I received in letters and happy mails, uh, really many of them. And I want to use things from, from this box because uh, this box was standing in the closet and somehow I kind of forgot about this box and I really like the things which are inside here so I want to use them more often so I'm go going to use them for decorating my tags and the idea is uh, that uh, I just want to take some random things that I have in these boxes um, box boxes with paper scraps and also this box with cutouts and not to think too much uh, but just take the random things and glue it down without really planning too much because sometimes I can take really really long time to create even something simple but not this time this time I just take the first thing and glue it down and yeah, uh, like that I want to decorate this text. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just taking some random paper scraps and making a little background um, and then some random things from, from this box with cutouts and making little collages and decorating a bit each tag. Uh, later I want to add then a uh, few more things, but uh, at the moment I just want to use these um, different things and paper scraps from these boxes. I feel like all all these tags, I don't know yet how they will look in the end, but I feel like all these tags will uh, fit very good to my spring journal because uh, most of the things that I have here in this uh, box, uh, these are um, different images of animals, flowers, nature, so all the things that I usually use for my journals. Uh, so I think all these tags will be uh, really great for my spring journal. Oh, and this cute cat. Uh, uh, this is a this is a drawing that I received in a letter from one of my pen pals really really long time ago, and I really like this cute drawing. It was just laying around, so I decided that I also want to use it. I think this cat is very very cute. 
and now the last tag, the biggest one. Okay, and it's mostly ready. Uh, now I am going to uh, put aside these boxes that I have here and uh, take out another one. Uh, this one is with uh, different uh, quotes that I printed on coffee dyed paper and also some sentiments that I just stamped on some paper scraps, uh, like scraps from the uh, book pages. Uh, so I think I will add to each of these tags a little sentiment, or some quote. So I just take random things from, from that box and uh, glue it down. Uh, some of the tags I will leave like this without the uh, sentiments. And now I will take my crocodile and uh, poke the holes. I don't know if I will do that for each tag or maybe I just will leave like this, but for uh, some of these tags I want to poke holes and then also add uh, eyelets later. So now I'm, ju I'm just uh, poking the holes and uh, some tags already have holes and uh, some tags I just will leave like this without anything. I think they are already cute, like for example that cat. And uh, now I just will choose some eyelets that I have here. I will use different ones. I have here a few few different colors, so I use different colors and also I have a few of these eyelets which look like flowers. I think these are also very cute. Okay, and with this one, as you can see, I was very fast and somehow, so this happened. I just destroyed it, so I will cut the upper part uh, and will leave it like this. I think it looks cute like this. take a box with different uh, ribbons and uh, pieces of lace and some trims that I have uh, and will add some uh, trims and ribbons to each of these tags. I also want to use different ones and mostly those that are leftovers from something. So I just want to use those.
Okay, now all my tags are ready. Now you can see how they turned out. Uh, and as I expected, even without planning, all of the tags uh, turned out to be really good for this spring journal. I think they will fit perfectly here. All are kind of different, but also similar with some cute animals and birds and nature. So I think they are great for this journal. So now I'm just going to uh, find pages where I want to add these tags. I don't know yet if I will uh, add all of them to my journal or just a few of them. But for example, this big one I want to have here on this page. Then later maybe I will write something on the back. I also have a few pages like this one where I already have some uh, small things uh, clipped to the page. So I think I will also choose one of the tags uh, for this page here and just will clip it here. And then later I maybe will add something else to this page, maybe not, I don't know yet, but for the moment I will leave it like this. Then on the next page I have this envelope and I think I also can add here one of this tags with um, illustrations from Beatrix Potter because I also have a book page there with her illustration. So I will use one of this. I think this one was, was this cute fox. There I already have a few tags, but I think it's never too many. Why, why not to add there a third one? Uh, this page is also not finished yet, maybe later I will add something else there, but now I just want to find a place for all these tags. As you can see, I already have quite a few things in this journal, uh, many uh, pockets with different cards and it's already quite bulky and chunky, so I think soon I will have to stop to had so many things. And here again is the page from the book uh, about the cute rabbit. So I also will use one of the tags with, with the illustrations. This cat tag I think fits really well here. And also here I have this vellum pocket, so I will put one of these inside the pocket. And this one I will clip here. And I think that's all. That's enough. I still have these two left, but I think I will use them uh, somewhere else. So that was all for today. I hope you liked this video and that it was inspiring for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!